And in today's Hearts of Iron 4 video, I am talking about five things I would love to see in the Hoi 4 Man the Guns DLC. First off, before we get into this video, I want to thank my Patreons who are appearing on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much. And also, thank you to all the supporters of the channel for just watching, subscribing, commenting, liking the videos. I really appreciate everything you guys are doing, trying to help make the channel popular. Thank you so much. And now, on to the video. For the very first thing is the option to have prisoners of war or POWs. And I know right now somebody is opening that comment bar down there and immediately going, This video is stupid. Prisoners of war is a horrible idea. J just hear me out before you start saying that kind of stuff, right? Think about it like this. What if you could use prisoners of war, right? Like if you went circle of vision or whatever. And then you can use your prisoners of war kind of in the same way you could with managing puppets you know like how if you're at war with somebody and you have an annex nation you can kind of determine how strict you are on the nation to get supplies or whatever what if you could have prisoners of war right and then you can get them from encirclements and you can use them depending on how aggressive you are to do things like speed up construction you could see better ideas of factory counts and you know enemy states and stuff like that you can maybe even see the exact number and you can even get maybe you can somehow view the enemy production line for that time or something like that like you could somehow right click the nation and it would show stuff like secrets or uh, classified info and then you can have a list of things that your prisoners could tell you depending on how aggressive you are but the more aggressive you are i mean and maybe you can even get you know boost on decryption stuff and like depending on how aggressive you are every once in a while the enemy will get bonuses to defense like there'll be an event pop up says the enemy has been very aggressive with our troops um and we don't want to be taken alive so we're going to fight the last man you know kind of bonuses like that i think that would be absolutely ingenious to hoi for and yes it would be very you know overcomplicate things to an extent but i still think that would be something really cool to add into hoi for especially if they have it as some type of future dlc with something like russia or something like that i think that'd be absolutely awesome and now for number two embargo nations and no i i know that there's some things you can do in focus trees for a couple nations mostly the united states where you can embargo nations stuff like that what if you could just straight up embargo a nation for like 200 or 300 political power you know i, I think that'd be so awesome and amazing to do on hoi 4 and if you embargo the nation maybe you could get more of your resources without having to open up your economy or close it off or something like that to get more of them right and i know some people are thinking well that would just be overpowered you know so many nations could just cut them off but then again embargoing nations should be something in this game I, I think it should be in the base game itself because say for example japan all right aside from really the middle east and venezuela there's nowhere else they can get their oil from except for the united states and the ai more often than not will continue trading with the united states throughout the game using their oil to keep their war machine in china going well if the united states could save up 200 political power they could just straight up embargo them right off the bat without him to go through their focus tree i don't know i think that would be so cool to be able to do that kind of thing you know and as for number three money and economies put in this game yes 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 i know some people again are probably going to go in the comment section and say there already is money and economy in this game and it's based on your civilian factories no i mean and, and not even having to use it for your you know to keep your army maintained or whatever what if there could be money added into the game right and you could do things like increase your production output for x amount of days if you have enough money or you can instantly build certain factories in certain areas kind of like your decisions if you could just go through your decisions tab and say for five thousand or like i don't know like five million dollars increase uh army uh prioritize army guns or something like that you know kind of like prioritizing the financial districts in the game through civs to start working on trying to give the army more stuff and gives them better output or something like production output for navy or air force you know things like that that would be such a mind-blowing experience in my opinion get it mind-blowing hoi four explosions <laughs> i'm sorry that was a horrible joke but i still think it would just be an amazing benefit to have something like that in hoi four 
just to have that kind of money system in there so you could like i said you know do that kind of stuff and maybe you could increase your conscription law by like increase pay to officers and then you would get bonuses for your divisions and stuff or you could increase enlistment pay increase uh pay to you know a certain job in the army or something like that and you could increase your tank like training time you know i there's just so many ideas with adding stuff like that in there and then you could get money based on how many civilian factories you have i, I think that'd be cool and and then have the civilian factory numbers based on how many of them are not constructing buildings you know or determine something like that i don't know but that's my next one number four and this is going to be a very 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 controversial thing i know it is upgradable positions i know people are thinking oh like static aa like support aa or whatever with the factories like you know the base aa that you can actually build in provinces yes and no I'm thinking of something a little bit of a bigger picture with upgradable positions, like for example, artillery, anti-aircraft, anti-tank, naval batteries, and they would work kind of like air radar, right? Like you can put them down in a province, and then you could upgrade the air radar, and it increases the range of it. But what if you could do that with things like a static position for artillery, anti-aircraft, and artillery, and then the naval batteries, right? And then I'm not saying they would be overpowered, but I'm saying they'd be able to do damage to ongoing battles. Like for example, if you could upgrade the naval batteries, right? Any battle within that range, well then the United States, for example, if it's off the coast of California, would get a plus certain amount of percent based on what level they have the AA or, a or the uh, naval battery in California. If it's in range, depending on the level of it, it would do... A penalty kind of deal to the enemy fleet where they would get less attack or less defense or something they would get damage more often you know and then with aircraft it could be the same thing and I mean it could even be to the point where you could go with Germany and maybe build flak towers is a you know type of deal for them you know which if you don't know what a flak tower was it was this massive construction they made in World War II purposely by the Germans to deliberately be undestroyable by bombs that, that was the whole idea behind it they're really cool and now since that last one went over so great, let's go ahead and end this with the final fifth one. More army technology. Two things I would love to see incorporated into this game, more specifically, like, as soon as possible. Flamethrowers, and I'm including these next two together, armored cars and jeeps. Flamethrowers, I want really bad because they could possibly break through enemy entrenchments. Like, they would be expensive. You would kind of have to build them as your own type of deal. You would have to actually you know build the equipment for them you can't just have support equipment or maybe as a flamethrower unit it would be work it could incorporate into engineer companies and they would give bonuses or something like that to break the breakthrough or break the entrenchments and stuff like that and then maybe they could even attack bunkers and they would do damage to the bunkers themselves i think that would be really cool but now let's talk about armored cars and jeeps i think it'd be interesting if you could have jeeps and armored cars put into more of motorized or you know armor divisions and stuff like that and it would give bonuses to your recon because recon will help you determine a battle you know idea if you don't know what recon really does in hoi 4 recon if you upgrade it enough you can kind of de depict you can kind of tell what the enemy is going to do and then the ai will counter that strategy with their own you know that's why signal companies are so good mixed with recon companies because then it determines what the ai is going to do and then they can use the battle plans and they can kind of beat the other person even if they have a better army because of the battle plans so guys that was pretty much it and i know the fourth one was kind of a ramble a little bit sorry about that but i still that that's my five things i want to see in hoi for at some point let me know down below if you guys think that we should add any of these things or if i am just a crazy moron and these are horrible decisions. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome.